Oh, that's better. Hello there. I'm dressed up like this to make a point about Germany's unique research landscape. In many countries, scientific discoveries are focused almost entirely around universities and the private sector. Germany is different in that it has hundreds of independent research institutions that work together with state bodies and private industry. They're a fantastic resource for businesses. In fact, this unique research landscape was a factor explicitly cited by US semiconductor giant Intel for deciding to build its new 17 billion euro production facility in Germany. So let's take a deep dive, starting in space, or at least a window upon it. The Panther X-ray Vacuum Testing Chamber in Munich is part of the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics and the second largest such facility in the world. The work done here is crucial for X-ray telescopes and goes into pretty much any outer space X-ray satellite you want to name. The Max Planck Society is one of the four big names in extra-university German research. Founded in 1948, it focuses on basic research in natural, life and social sciences and the humanities and is known for its close cooperation with Germany's 380 universities. One of its most famous inventions is the flash technology used in MRI scans. Its budget is well over 2 billion a year and it employs nearly 24,000 people. The second member of the Big Four is the Fraunhofer Society. It puts the emphasis on applied science and has played a role in countless practical inventions. It's been around since 1848, spent some 3 billion a year and has nearly 30,000 people on its payroll. One good example of the role Fraunhofer plays is the Nalamki project, which seeks to use AI, cloud technologies and high-resolution satellite imaging to improve agriculture. The project consortium also includes farm machinery giant John Deere, German startups and companies, two universities and other scientific institutes. The whole project is underwritten by Germany's Ministry for Economic Affairs and Climate Action. We have drones flying over the fields, taking pictures and we use our expertise in 5G to establish 5G networks to get the data onto computing devices. And then on the computing devices, we run our algorithms, detection algorithms, recognition algorithms, to detect uh, plant diseases at a very early stage. And this, for example, allows farmers to use less pesticides, leading to a more sustainable agriculture. Germany spends more than 100 billion euros and more than 3% of its GDP a year on research. The largest non-university body is the Helmholtz Association, which traces its history back to 1958. It concentrates on energy, the environment, health, aeronautics, space and transport. It's heavily involved, for instance, in renewably produced energy and hydrogen as an energy carrier. The association's 2020 budget was 4.9 billion and it employs 42,000 people. Research and innovation made in Germany has a great deal to offer. Our big four research institutions, our excellent universities, many research intensive companies and vibrant startup hubs. We will be making targeted investments in the next years. Investments in climate friendly energy sources such as green hydrogen and resilient supply. Also in key digital technologies, health and biotech. We give tax breaks to companies for R&D and we strongly support international cooperation. Last but not least, there is the Leibniz Association, the former employer of new German Minister of Education and Research Bettina Stark-Watzinger. Founded in 1949, its specialties include natural and environmental sciences, engineering and economics. One of its many affiliates operates Europe's largest solar telescope. Leibniz can draw upon annual funding of 1.7 billion euros and a staff of 20,000. Together with Germany's other research institutions, it offers a powerful argument for innovative international companies to come to Germany. I speak a lot to international startups and tech companies. And one thing I always tell them, 
why it's worth coming to Germany is the quite unique research landscape. You have to understand that in Germany, there's not only public institutions such as universities or the industry, we have hundreds of independent research institutes and they do research on things such as hydrogen, energy and renewables. And they apply this knowledge to actual industries and this is very interesting for companies coming to Germany. So you see, Germany's unique research landscape offers special advantages to companies that are on the ground in Europe's biggest economy. Germany Trade and Invest can help you discover the possibilities of expanding here. As a government agency, all our services are free. Just head over to gtai.com. And we'd love to hear your feedback on this video. Till next time, remember, if you believe in following the science, the path you should explore runs through Germany.